Hey everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog review, and this one is on on Tails Adventure Boat that has now been released, of course. So on the front of the box here, we have the LEGO Star Wars lo or Star Wars Sonic the Hedgehog logo, and uh, the same border that we've been seeing since last year, and a little picture of everything that there is, and model does not float, of course. And then recommend ages is 8 and up, set number uh, 76997, has 393 pieces. So then on the back side of it, it does have another view of the set, and also some of the features of it, and a couple little, little pictures that there are, and also the two logos, of course, and there. Now on to, on to the uh, manual, on rendering like we've been seeing for the last couple of years now. And then the transition from plastic bags to paper bags and add with the builder app. And then how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then advertisement of some other sets there are, including the earlier, the early 2024 sets, of course. So and the other sets of this wave. And then the last building steps. So now on to the main. Which is like the main Sonic the Hedgehog minifig that does come in some most of the sets. And well, but this time with a traditional life jacket piece to that, which did come in some city sets for that, but underneath it, which is just the same as in other sets, of course. And also, you get to this uh, one of uh, Tails here, but except does have a winking face, exp face expression, so. So kind of nice to see that there, then. but all the rest of which just the same as in previous sets for that. And then also do have a little turtle critter included as well for that. On the backside, which Sonic only one that has some back torso printing and it's quite the same as early other sets of which and and of course aside foot printing as well, of course. And that's about it there. Oh, and also included are two little mini fig ski pieces to act at, obviously acting as water skis, which I'll show in, in one of the features later. And then also do have this like mini build of Jaws kind of one to that. Well, Jaws with a Z, that is. And of course, same brick built style as like Crab Meat last year and so on. Like this has this rounded tile on the front and also a moving jaw kind of part, sort of like the head of the Rhinobot then. And of course, Nexo Knight pyramid pieces acting as teeth, like we see on most builds. And then as for the fin switch, which are just on just wedge plates on a uh, clip plate. And then upper of which is one of the stand kind of pieces to that with flat studs with eye printings on them and also a little extra compartment of which to fit your uh, turtle critter into a course. And then on the back side of which, which is one of these Lego turbine pieces obviously acting as the extra turbine of it of course. And whereas like most of the mini builds, there's that if you like play, mess around with it and make it the fit crits uh, uh, fall out for that, unless it was part of some a gimmick feature for that. And, but, uh, and so now, next bit of which is this little stamp that feel.
which honestly does look sort of like the one that came in the uh, Speed Sphere Challenge set last year, but at least with a few mods to it. It's the same archway design and also just two by two bricks to make it have that a 16-bit look to it, and also a, a mini build for a sphere monitor, of course, and also on top of which are a few jumpers with the, like, classic ring pieces to represent the golden rings, like in other sets. And then also have a little palm tree-like build, kind of similar to the one that came in a few other sets, of which, but luckily it's built a little differently, so don't have to go through much repetition for that, and of course, Topped off with an astromech droid headpiece. It also does have this little beach kind of like area to it, like a little chair like build, and also this little table like build with ketchup and mustard kind of uh, holders, and also a hot dog uh, bun and hot dog piece on there, and random binoculars on there, obviously to keep a lookout for jaws and probably crack meat and all and so on but yeah. and then as and also get this little speed sphere piece which which is which obviously same as the one that came in previous sets which but now recolored in orange and also splits in half there. and obviously like in other sets of it can like fit Sonic into it, but now has revealed that you can also fit Tails into it. And like so. Uh, kind of hard to do so with Tails. Well, actually, you just have to lower the arms on Tails to do so. Well, unlike with Sonic, which you can, we're just able to put the arms upwards and can fit in quite nicely there, and rolls like so. And now on to the Sea Fox 2 boat, of course. Oh, let me get this thing off there very quickly. Well, as for this whole build of which, for Sea Fox 2 of which, that which quite built quite nicely, and also a good solid color scheme of like yellow and white and orange for that nice, and also a bit some light and dark gray, so nice to see a nice flowing color theme to here, and also build of which, kind of like we had in most city sets for that, but Although it does have a unique feature to it. Like as for the front part area here, or back kind of area here, which has a standing platform that is made of like both a solid orange and translucent orange bits to obviously represent a bit of a dance floor and also these fin kind of tail fin pieces here. And also a little bit of an like amp kind of build to it and also with a little microphone piece maybe it's supposed to be a karaoke machine or at least a microphone and speaker kind of system but yeah and then also the front bar which does have the flat studs used as like a lookout lights for that and then as in the corner can like detach this whole roof section offwards since it's sitting on some jumpers and as for this windshield kind of part, which I think is probably reused from some Nexo Knights set, so which is, well, due to the shaping to that. And as for this interior spot, which is, does have both a, has two flat studs represented as both a cookie with sprinkles and an orange slice for that, and also a couple of uh, cylinders acting as cans of of Chaos Cola and probably Pepsi and also a walkie talkie kind of piece to it and also does have a, a classic uh, game controller piece to that and also a 2x4 uh, tile with what's probably like uh, 
like Tetris or something, and does and of course have a little bit of Dr. Eggman on there, of course, and also the classic steering wheel piece for that, and then also a couple of flats or one by one tile yes, with unique prints to them, of course. And then this bottom part of which, like with these two little pieces here, is for an extra feature, which I'll show in a little later. And then as for this intersection, which kind of all hauled out, mainly for these Technic beams that are part of the feature, and also have the Bonkle Bull Rock eye tooth pieces, but clear, nice to see there. And those on both sides, which do have these little Technic panels here, which is comes part of the feature of it. And the front section, which has some of these extra large uh, curved slopes in like two different kinds. So, and and also on top of which are some like other tiles and such. You can like open it up for that, and then also oh whoops. So I've got a couple of vents on there, of course. And then, so the main feature is if you take the speed sphere and then you know, so just push on these and flicks right off for that. So obviously, so instead of being like a whole separate build that gets competitive in sets for that, like last year's wave, which is actually part of a build for that. So nice to see that. So great to have some extra variety here, of course. And also forgot to mention is God Sea Fox 2 since 1992, which is most likely the time of the uh, second Sonic and Tails game for that. And then also curved slope on there. And also these uh, back parts of which, which are probably like uh, extra boosters or something. But yeah. And then also a little extra build is this little hang glider for that. Or a paraglider, you could say. Which quite simple build for how it is like just a cut like these curved slopes that have like uh, like some like little connector bits to it holding to like extra flaps that go like outwards and then also these little pieces that pre were introduced in Shima a decade ago and down to these little hinge rods holding these extra flex tubes onto there. So, then, so now the feature with it is these handle bar pieces is where your Sonic Mini they can hold on to. Oh, whoops. Like so. And then can just uh, Hang glide and water ski onto it. And as for the ending parts of these, is they attach to these little hinge rod plates right in here as well. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Just went crisscrossed. Oh, whoops. And kind of does uh, pull the piece off quite a bit. And there, fully connected. And it's easy to drag around, even though kind of tips over a lot of the time. This video. And let me get everything in here.
And so now we're on to the final verses. So now overall, I think this is which a like quite good set for how it is. Like you get plenty of good playability, like the speed speed launch or speed sphere launching piece, which obviously that is like part of a build rather than being a whole separate build, like in other sets for that bit. And also even as for the side build of which Although maybe kind of similar to the one that came in the Speed Sphere or Challenge set to which, but at least it has a little bit of difference added into it. And as for the Jaws build of which, at least nice to have a little extra variety in terms of like egg bots and such. And also good to see some extra variety of sets like this, which a boat set, which we barely get much in most other non-city themes. And also, and as for the price point of it, for the like uh, forty, for the, the like forty dollars that it is, which I say quite good for how it is, like three hundred ninety three pieces for that much, I say still quite good for how it is. And whereas, as for the mini figs of which, even though they may have come in other sets of which, but mainly the tails one, which does have a wink expression to him, and well, at least. Nice to have a little extra variety to that, and for the speed sphere now in orange, which, which quite good to have it in a whole other color other than trans blue, but also in this wave one that is in trans yellow, for the supersonic, uh, mini fig that there is, and of course, and and of course in those colors would be quite, uh, nice to have and also quite handy for mock making and such, but yeah. And oh, it's not much, but yeah. And also, since this is a kind of water related set, although I think uh, Storm the Albatross could have been in, could have been easily included, in, he would have been an extra selling point for this set. But but that's just me. But yeah. But however, the set as is, which is still really good for how it is. But yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your uh, Sonic set collection, then definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to like have a Speed Sphere in orange, which obviously definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to have an extra part to add on to most Green Hill Zone sets, which mainly the side build of which, and also definitely pick it up as well. But yeah. And so now that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.